Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, we will go over a bunch of iOS 7 tips and tricks uh, that you may know about or not. And uh, iOS 7 is due for release to the public this fall, as you know. And what you see here is a developer's preview release, which you can download and install on your iPhone if you are a registered uh, developer. Mine is running on an iPhone 5. But anyway, let's uh, dive into the tips and tricks. So the first one is where you have a level app hidden in the compass. Just swipe to the left and you will be revealed with a level leveler app, which is pretty nice actually, which you can use to de determine the flatness of a surface. This is a carpenter's level. okay? And as you can see, the color changes to green when you have a perfect flatness. And you can do this in landscape or portray mode and uh, this is a free app unlike the ones that you have to download with advertisements on them so it's perfect so the next step has to do with the camera so launch the camera and as you know you can swipe left and right at the bottom to change between the shooting modes of panorama uh, the, the, the regular photo or video app you can also swipe the screen however to change the photo mode so that makes uh, once again the usability much uh, easier so this is also a very nice addition so the next uh, little feature is a live clock so if you look at the clock carefully it's actually in sync with the clock that is in the status bar and it's also live so the second hand is actually moving and is showing real time and I like this feature because it actually adds some life to the iOS interface so the next tip is where you can actually go into photos and you can apply filters to your pictures yet when you apply these filters to the pictures it doesn't permanently modify the image you can apply a filter like in this example apply save and you can go back and then you can come back to that image and reapply different filters onto it the original picture does not change it only applies a filter on top of it which is perfect okay so the next feature is about blocking people that you don't want contacting you go to the settings go to the phone and at the bottom you can see blocked click add new to add somebody to your blocked list so they cannot bother you anymore and then you can also do the same for messages so go to messages all the way at the bottom it says blocked and you can block people from sending you text messages now which is perfect as well now if you launch the camera application you know that you had an option to add a grid to your camera with iOS 7 you have to go to a separate menu in settings to actually actually activate the grid so go to settings and all the way at the bottom go to photos and camera and then you have to click grid turn it on go back to the camera and now the grid is in fact available uh, the, just so you guys know for those who like to use their grids when taking images okay so the next tip has to do with the live wallpapers so you go to settings okay in the main section go to um, brightness and wallpaper tap on wallpaper and you have the option to choose from a dynamic or a static wallpaper dynamic means a live wallpaper these wallpapers have animations like the Android system and hopefully by the time iOS 7 is released we'll have much more of these available okay so now you can actually do audio FaceTime calls as you know FaceTime is face-to-face -face camera call uh, now you can actually just do audio calls this is very helpful and I cannot show you right now because I have no context set up but uh, this is going to save you minutes off of your plan and you can just talk to people over Wi-Fi using audio only and then the next tip is spotlight search as you know usually you would have to swipe to the right to pull up the spotlight search not anymore now you can just pull down and boom you got the spotlight search right in front of you and the good news is this one is accessible from any screen so if I tap away from this, go to the other screen, I can pull down to bring up Spotlight. This is a very nice feature. It makes it more intuitive to use. And the last tip I want to talk about is you already know that we have a command center and a notification center on iOS 7. The good news is these 
settings are accessible through the lock screen so you don't have to go inside the phone to do simple tasks quickly this is this is absolutely perfect okay and there you go all right so that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching subscribe to my channel like my video and you can also follow me on twitter and facebook and the links are below in the description if you have any questions comments just put them down as well and once again thank you for watching and have a good day now